In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for K2O plus H2O. This is potassium oxide plus water. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. We have two potassium atoms here and just one here. So let's put a two in front of the KOH. Now we have one, two oxygens, two times one, that's two oxygens, two hydrogens, and then we have two times the one, two hydrogens. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the states for each substance. K2O, the potassium oxide, that's a solid. Water is a liquid. And we're going to assume that we have excess water so that the KOH will be dissolved in water. Because KOH, when we have this potassium compound here in a hydroxide, KOH is a strong base. So it's going to be a strong electrolyte. It's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. We say it's aqueous here. So we have the states. Now, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. For the potassium oxide, since it's a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we're gonna keep that together. And then water, we don't split liquids apart either in net ionic equations, so we have our water there. And then for the potassium hydroxide, strong base, it's a strong electrolyte, so we are gonna split this apart. Potassium, on the periodic table has a one plus ionic charge. The whole hydroxide is one minus. So we have two potassium ions, and that's gonna be aqueous, plus we have two of the hydroxide ions. Those will be aqueous as well. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we would cross out the spectator ions that appear on both sides. The thing is that everything is unique on each side. So the complete ionic equation here is the same as the net ionic equation. There's no spectator ions to cross out. So this is the net ionic equation for K2O plus H2O. If we look at charge, we can see everything on this side is neutral. Over here, we have two times one plus and two times one minus. Two plus, two minus, that gives us a net charge of zero. So charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for potassium oxide plus water. Thanks for watching.